Well, we're back here with Johnny Stewart and friend, okay? Uh, so that is Connie Breeze today. Now, on six days a week, yes. you host a radio show, 105.7. Yes. Okay? And you program the music. Is that a tw is it a 24 hours that you have to program yes. it every day for 24 hours? Mm -hmm. You pick music for all the hosts of all the shows yes. for a 24-hour period. Yes, because you want the station to sound consistent. So each person that comes on, you want people to be able to count on the kind of music they're going to okay. hear. Okay. Now, when you do that... Uh, and you're also programming the music for your own five-hour period. Mm -hmm. So how many extra hours, other than your five-hour period that you're on, do you spend before you go on TV to do your, I mean, radio to do your own thing? Are you work 12 hours a day? I do. You do. And what's That's funny what about that is, like, people call me, and people, I think they think I, like, lay in bed until 11 and then get up and fluff my hair. You don't even have a bed. <laughs> you <laughs> no, don't need I it. stand up in the corner oh. with my makeup on, ready to go. Yeah. But, you know, I think people think, like, the life of a DJ is not what it used to be. It used to be you went in and you played the records. Now, the way that radio has consolidated, everyone has three or four jobs. Everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's a 12-hour day for everyone. So it's, you have to love what you do. Is, do people call in and talk to you while you're hosting? Mm -hmm. Do you have a call in? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so they can. They can call in and say, what do you think? And you actually hold a conversation with them like you and I are doing now. Yes, and you know what's funny is a lot of times we have um, a text to win. And so when you find a winner, you then call them. Uh -huh. And when I call people, they're never surprised to hear from me. It's like everybody knows me. I'll call, they'll, and they're usually at work, and they'll go, hello. And I'll go, it's Connie Breeze. And they go, hey, girl. And it's funny. I love it because I think I've been you out. You feel like they're all your family. Yes, and they feel like they know me, which I love. And I think it's because I've been in the community for seven years, out for seven years. And so we have that relatability. And I don't think you can ask for any more than that. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And that's exciting that you're still doing that. What are the main things that you do here in Vegas uh, other than the, your radio show, which which actually now I understand that it's a call-in thing and it's uh, you actually try to promote the other host as well by giving them the right records that they want yes, or, yeah. and the things that keeps the radio show going. The 105.7, is it mainly a music channel? Yes. And they play old school, school music? Yes. And, and that's the main thing that you're a professional in? Yes. You're a doctor of that? I am. Okay. Doing so, surgery later today, if you want okay. to observe. <laughs> so what else do... Uh, uh, the when you go out and do these concerts and other things, who who represents you and who gets you out there to get that? Do you do that all on your own, or are you with an agency? How does somebody get a hold of Connie Breeze to make her do this? They can go to ConnieBreeze.com, and that automatically goes to Santa Lawrence, who can then all the emails go to Santa, and then she can just take care of that, book me, answer your questions. Okay, so S Santa Lawrence is acting as a agent manager kind of thing to yeah. at least to keep you. Uh, the notoriety out there and to see that she's going mm -hmm. okay so if somebody wants to book you right now they would contact you at a website or Santa Lawrence ConnieBreeze.com ConnieBreeze.com and that will lead them to the to spot Santa. where they have to go and they can contact Santa Lawrence mm -hmm. through that and it'll it'll come up as an email to her but it'll say from ConnieBreeze.com so it'll have their info who she can call it'll also have um, how to get a hold of her okay now do you ever look at any new artists that are coming out because you're mm -hmm. so much into this and you try to talk to them and tell them what, how they ought to be hitting certain things? Like, like for example, Bruno Mars was with me from the age he was 5 till he was 12 in Hawaii singing songs and doing mainly Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley. Isn't he amazing? He's amazing. Now, I don't remember signing him up at that time. Bruno, I wish I had. <laughs> okay. Boy, do you wish you had. <laughs> yes. His dad plays percussion for me yes. quite a bit. Okay. So uh, the fact is, Peter Hernandez is yes. his father. Okay. So the fact is that you run across people that you've seen in your exposure here in Las Vegas and other places that you know could become a celebrity of some type or a star or maybe just blows your mind, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do that, do you play some new things on your radio that are not necessarily published yet? Do you, does somebody come to you with new material and say, will you expose me? Just like you did when you were younger. You said you went around to all these stations mm -hmm. and somebody would come to you. Then you'd go on the road and help them promote their music. Mm -hmm. Did they hire you to do that? They must have hired you to do that, right? Well, that's what I did through Motown. Uh -huh. um, and unfortunately, in an old school format, you, we don't play new music. But I do get a lot of... Um, 
people who know my history or know me and I'm always I always give people feedback or uh -huh. try to put them in the right direction you know there's a lot of ways you can market yourself and a lot of things you can do these days and sometimes artists tend to be right brain and so I'll try to just take them through the steps you know how to connect YouTube to you know Google owns YouTube yeah, Google owns YouTube. Right, so there's a way to work with YouTube to get yourself noticed and get um, right. subscribed to. So I, I try to help artists in any way that I can. Well, let me ask you this. You actually were inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame yes. in, 19, in, in 2015. Yes, and Santa Lawrence was there. She, she was there. Yes, she was. Yeah, well, she's sitting over here in the corner. I know, that's why we keep talking right about now. it. We're trying to get so. her to have to come on and go, no, wait a minute. <laughs> So anyway, so you were inducted in the Hall of Fame mm -hmm. to do that, mm -hmm. and uh, you were inducted in the Hall of Fame because of what? What did because you do? Because I to get hung on for thirty-five years. That's why. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> it's sheer will and longevity. <laughs> it really so, is. That's exciting. Now I understand that there's a, a, a showcase going to happen over here at the Orleans Hotel mm -hmm. in February. Mm -hmm. what, February what? February 11th is a Saturday night. February 11th is a Saturday night at the Orleans Hotel. Yes. What's going to happen there? It's called The Love Affair. The and Love I Affair. I love what, it. What room is that in? Oh, oh it's, it's a concert. It's a Excuse big me. concert, yeah. And it's the most, you know, there are a lot of young people and a lot of, a lot of audience, a lot of kids of old school lovers who love the music their parents play it at home while they're cleaning or having dinner or whatever and the kids now are really tapping into it so the audience is very vast and it's like the dramatics the temperies tiara you know um there's like 11 acts on the bill and it is the most people stand up slow dance sing every do, song do you, know, do you know who those acts are right i now? do well, tell us who they are. Let's promote for the Orleans right now. Let's promote this concert. Now, are you going to be hosting the concert? Yes. So you're going to be up on stage. Yeah, I'll be up on stage. <laughs> and you're going to be hosting it. It's in the main room. I think it's about mm -hmm. a 850 or 900 seat room. Yeah. I've done some things over there. So who's going to be on this show and what is it called? It's called The Old School Love Affair. The Old School Love Affair, February 11th, Orleans Hotel. And you can call up and get tickets probably any time. Uh, absolutely, right? absolutely, yeah. through the and Orleans. So who's going to be on that show? There are 11 acts on the show. Do you know all um, 11? Uh, no, I don't because I've been on me, vacation. Give me a for few. Two. Give me a few. Uh, I know for sure Bloodstone, uh -huh. which I love, The Dramatics, um, The Temperies, uh, I believe Evelyn Champagne King. A really good friend of ours is GQ. He always comes. So it's that genre. Tierra is coming for sure. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm sitting here thinking that we've been we're going to be on this show here with the breaks and the advertisings and all this kind of stuff. Only about 40 minutes. But the fact is, I'm thinking of you having to do five hours a day, mm -hmm. six days a week mm -hmm. of constant coordinated programming mm -hmm. of things. I don't think anyone comprehends what that really is. I don't think they do. No, I, it's I, impossible. And and the thing is, too, that it is science. Putting it all together is science. And it's our job to make it, people think it's art. Right. That's right. You know? And do you have, sometimes you say you have two or three uh, actual live guests a week mm -hmm. on your show, mm -hmm. like we're doing here. Yeah. Okay, so you'll have people on there. Are they normally promoting their music or just talking to you about his, history of music? Or what are your guests that you have on the show? What's their background and why do you let them on? I let them on because they're artists and they have a show coming. So, for example, you know, Jeffrey Osborne will yep, call me yep, and say, yep. I'm coming to town. And I'll say, come in. Come Function will say, we're on our way. And I'll say, come it's in. It's like it'd be great if we could get Bill Medley over there. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. Stuff like that. Okay. So what are some of the things that we may have missed uh, in, in uh, trying to make sure that we tell everybody about all the things that you've been doing? Because, I mean... You're, like I said, a celebrity host, mm -hmm. and you're doing so many things and tying it all together. It takes somebody. To, somebody just can't walk out there and everyone sing. You know, you're the uh, exuberant, uh, wild Ed Sullivan of show business. Ed I mean, you know, exactly. <laughs> except you talk a little faster yeah, and a little I do. higher. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So the fact is you tie it all together, mm -hmm. and it takes a host to do that. Yes. You know, it takes somebody to do that. And somehow you've been known so much in the business being with Motown for five years, uh, doing their 
uh, things that they had you do. Well, what did you do before that? Because, I mean, you, you've been here seven years. Mm -hmm. You've been in the business probably 20 years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what did you do before Motown? Before Motown, I was a writer at a trade magazine in Los Angeles called Hits. Wow. An industry magazine, which I got a tremendous education there. Those, Dennis Leventhal and Lenny Beer taught me so much. Dennis Leventhal? Mm-hmm. I, I know that name mm -hmm. for some reason. Mm -hmm. You know, I do. I know that name. So you were a writer, and would you go out and interview and talk to people and make calls to try to find out what to write about and what to write about them? I interviewed artists. Okay. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what you did. Mm -hmm. So not only did you find the artists and their music and how to expand their music and how to program it out there and make people want to play it and buy it, but on the same hand, you also actually worked with them on, on all phases of music. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Well, this is gonna be exciting. We're gonna come back in a minute. We're gonna take a little break here in a second because uh, we're gonna come back and talk to you more about your career. This lovely lady, keep in mind, Connie Breeze is a celebrity host of all kinds of shows, all kinds of events, all kinds of concerts, all kinds of red carpet, and she keeps the fire in the air, right? Right. Okay, so we'll be right back in just a little bit. Johnny Short and Friends with Connie Breeze. I'm a friend now. <laughs> 